You know, I hate how that clock goes off every time. It always interrupts me, like, every time I think I'm jinxed. Every time. I'm not kidding. It interrupts me at least once every time I go to talk for an episode. Except usually I'm recording around in the uh, afternoon, so it'll go off like 12 separate rings, and it'll just keep going for like the next 30 seconds, and I'm just kind of sitting there <laughs> looking around, and then I have to go and edit it out. And you don't seem to understand. So the deadline for the sketchbook project and my transient art episode crept up upon me all of a sudden and I found myself swamped with all of the stuff to do. I hadn't even finished my sketchbook yet and I was working really hard and crazy trying to get this book finished so that I could postmark it by the 15th and have it sent in and so I could participate in the overall project on time and I was trying to get my video done on time as well. But then I got an email just this morning and found out that the deadline had been extended. <laughs> so, what was your inspiration today? I didn't have inspiration today. What was your inspiration for this new piece that you've done? I like rabbits. A lot. I do! I like rabbits a lot, okay? I wanted to draw myself with a rabbit, just like I drew myself with a crow on my other piece. That's the truth. Honestly though, my inspiration for this piece was to draw myself with a rabbit. <laughs> because I really like rabbits too, the same way I love crows, and I did a self-portrait with myself with a crow, so... I decided to do a self-portrait of myself in a similar manner, except for the rabbit. It's not like I draw a piece specifically to relate um, an exact idea. I try to relate an emotion rather than something else that's a bit more conceptual. I feel like it's a lot of pressure if I try to add a story to every single piece of artwork that I make. This piece I definitely had a lot of fun making. It was, you know, just purely out of fun. Just like any other piece, trying to make art for art's sake. It was pretty interesting because I read Watership Down while I was working on this drawing. I'd actually never read the book before. Yeah. Watership Down. And it was fun to read because the story is about rabbits and I was drawing a rabbit. <laughs> if you haven't read Watership Down, you should totally read it. In order to make this drawing more intimate, I decided upon a nice close-up shot of myself and the rabbit. In fact, we take up a good majority of the piece itself. The fact that the rabbit is up on my arm is a sign of trust. Together, we lay in a grassy field with comfort. Above, the clouds are starting to darken in some areas, showing that it might rain. Rain is my favorite kind of weather, personally, though typically rabbits don't appreciate their fur being wet much. Alright, so now it's time to pick this week's random subscriber winner. And I'll shuffle our subscribers right there. Go ahead and pick one, and there we go. Winner! Congratulations! For this episode's contest, I'm giving away two small prints of this week's drawing. And, of course, as always, there are <laughs> two ways to win. One, all you have to do is be a subscriber, and that is it. I will be choosing someone at random. 
And then two, the second way to win is to post a comment or a video response as to what your favorite animal or animals are and why. And of course, the most creative answer is to win. And there's more information in the description box below. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the drawing that I made for the new year, and I hope to make many more this year. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Bye. Spider bit my elbow. That was Jacob. Jacob didn't bite my elbow. It looks like two little bites. No, we brought Jacob in last night. Yeah, he's got little fangs and no, bit no, my elbow. No, we, we brought Jacob in last night and you rolled over him. Talking in a normal voice. And then he punched him in his teeth. And talking in a normal voice. I am talking in a normal voice. I'm talking in a normal voice too. I am. So am I. Okay. Quit with the high pitched voice. You have you have your normal voice and then you do your high pitched voice. What are you talking about? There you can't even tell the difference. I'm gonna replay this back for you. What? There. See there's your low voice. <laughs> there, see, can you hear the difference? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes I can.